Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video is about stage display layouts. To get to the layout editor, you can go up to screens, go to the stage section, and click on edit layouts, or use your keyboard shortcut of command 4. Once inside of the stage layout editor, you can choose which layout you want to see. In the right hand column, you can change the name. You could add a background color and you can change the size. When you click on an, an item or an object, you then get the shape and text tabs just like you would in the presentation slide editor. You can add different objects. You could add a current slide, whether it's just the text, a full image preview, or just the notes. Your next slide a screen preview, so any of your outputs, you're able to display them onto a stage display, uh, exactly what's being sent out to them. A chord chart, so if you remember in presentation editor, we can add in a chord chart to a slide. This is where you would put that chord chart onto a stage display so that when you clicked on that slide, it would appear and they could see it on the stage display. You can add a stage message. So if you remember at the top bar, you have this stage button. You can add a message. This is where you would write a message for the stage message box. You can add a planning center live clock to tell you where you are at in your service. You can add any of your timers that you've created. You could add a system clock and a video countdown clock, which again is whenever you click on a video, it tells you how much time's left in your video. You can add a shape and you can add a text box. You can also go down to your objects bin and reorder your objects. You can create a new slide, so a new layout based off of either a blank layout or one of their predetermined themes. You can select a slide, right click on it. You could copy it, paste it, delete it, rename it, or duplicate it. And you can also copy and paste textile. So if we were to duplicate, we could then rename this as teleprompter next, then we could go into the text box. We could go to the text tab, go to our linked text and switch it to the next slide. Then to see these different layouts on an output, you can go back to your show. Then in your output section, you could select one of your stage outputs. So if I were to select teleprompter current, the layout that is set up is the main stage layout that I created. So if I were to select a slide for the song, I would see the current text and the next text. I can see the times that I've put into the top of the stage display. I can also choose to look at a different layout. So if I went to screens and then I went to the stage section, then each of the outputs that I've created will be right here under enable. And you'll be able to go to that output and then select the layout that you wanted. Now I'm just seeing the current slide, just like we would for um, the teleprompter machines or sometimes in some of the other rooms. We can also view that multi-viewer that I created. This is gonna show me all the different audience outputs that I have currently set up on this computer. So I get to see what would be sent to the worship center side screens, the hallway TVs, and then a lower thirds output as well. This is great for being able to monitor all our different outputs at the exact same time, either at front of house, backstage, or even in the media suite. We can send this output um, to any location that we choose. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.